Shout out to everybody. I want to talk to y'all real quick, real quick. Let me holler at y'all for a minute. First of all, Averb and Hitman Holla went live again, bro. You know, on Spaces. Averb did, like, I think it was an hour he was on Spaces talking about Hitman Holla. He talking about the lying on them. It's a bunch of people lying and with no proof. And he got proof to Hitman and says, so. like, another basically day of the same thing, right? One thing that Verb did say, you know, I think there is some validity of what he's saying, right? He said, you know, I don't have people sitting on my spaces, you know what I mean, talking about Hitman Holla. Like, when did I ever do that? Like, have somebody just sitting here or somebody sitting here and just talk crazy about me? And I think he's talking about when Cola was talking to, to Hitman Holla and Cola was kind of going off and all that. You know, I say this, you know, I think Verb is right. Like he does not do, if somebody says something negative about Hitman Holla, he will like step in there and he'll try to defend Hitman. He might let him talk a little bit, but he'll, he'll go in there and he'll try to defend Hitman. He does do that, you know, so I'm going to be real with that. But Verb, bro, I'm going to be, I'm going to keep it real. If you stood in the way of me getting like two different battles, you know, and then... <laughs> Like, I'm about to make like $200,000, a potential $200,000, and you one of the reasons why I can't secure a sponsor for this battle, you know, at least the $20,000 to start writing like you is the problem with this situation. Man, anybody can come up here and talk crazy. If they can talk crazy, you know what I'm saying? Cole want to come up there and talk. Anybody, bro. Like, once he finds out that you kind of in a situation to where you – you know, hating on them. You know, you may not think that you hating on them, but Gerald McCoy got on Hitman Holler's spaces, you know what I'm saying, and talked to him and basically said everything that Hitman Holler is saying is correct. You know, there you did have a conversation with him about that situation. It was what it was, what Hitman said it was, you know, and that's just what it is. And then he ended up getting out of the spaces. And I think he left Hitman Holler's spaces and he may have went to your spaces, but then he went back to Hitman's space. I don't know. He was like going back and forth from different people's spaces. You know what I'm saying? Maybe he was in the space before. Then he went to Averb spaces. That's what it was. And then he left from Averb spaces. Then he went to Hitman Holler's spaces again. You know what I mean? To try to close out on everything. Averb is talking about Gerald McCoy is no longer going to be involved in battle rap. He done. He not sponsoring no more events. He not going to be like nothing. He don't want nothing to do with it. You know, so I don't know. Y'all tell me what y'all think down in the comment section. Well, I will say this verb, bruh. You know what I mean? If that situation is real, if Hitman went, because Hitman went live yesterday, then he was kind of going in again. He was like, yo, he lying. He just got caught in the lie, you know, and he continued when to lie. You know, you can't spin your way out of this. Like the person that you was just talking crazy about me with came up here. You know, and basically validated everything that I'm saying. You know, so I don't know. Y'all tell me what y'all think. As far as Verb, Verb is now saying that he don't want to get a bag with Hitman. Like, he's not trying to box. He's not trying to battle him. Hitman Holla been saying that he's not boxing. He's not boxing. He's not trying to battle him. I don't know. We'll see what time. You know what I mean? Because, you know, we can all make assumptions on whether or not something not going to happen. And they both pop out with a major sponsor that want to see both of them box or maybe... You know, see both of them battle again. We don't know. You know what I'm saying? We just fans at the end of the day. We only privy to certain type of information. And a lot of that is what they put out. And a lot of that is what they want us to see. You know, so we'll end up seeing what happens as time goes on. It's a sad situation. Both of them going back and forth. But I'm here for it. The more they go back and forth, the more I'm going to talk about it. You know what I'm saying? So shout out to Hitman Holler. Another thing Hitman Holler had, before I get into the MOOC and all the other stuff, Hitman Holla had a bunch of top tiers in the spaces, right? He had John John the Don in the spaces. He had JC in the space. I think it was JC spaces. And then I think I think that's what it was. Hitman Holla got up in the space. And so there's a bunch of them in the spaces. You know what I mean? Random, like, you know, battlers that was in there, right? And Hitman starts going on a tangent. He's talking. He was like, yo, like, how can we like change battle rap back to where it was. He's like, yo, like people used to, you know, if you choked in a battle, it was a bad thing. You know what I mean? Like you used to have to get numbers in order to be considered that dude. Now people just choking, you know, fans don't even care that battlers are choking. He's not lying about that. A lot of fans really don't care 
that battlers choke. I didn't see battlers get on <laughs> in a battle and mess up a whole round and a fan still say they got the round. I've seen that. You know what I'm saying? Or even when we recap in battles when a battler chokes, people say, oh, I still felt like the person got that round. That happens in a lot in battle rap. You know, so I understand what he's saying with that. He did say, right, he's talking to them and, and different people like, you know, they got on the, the speaker, you know, and they was talking and they saying like, yo, like things need to be back to how they used to be. Yo, how, how can we get battle rap lit again to where it was like how it used to be? I'm going to say this. Having the, the people that was in the space with Hitman don't promote. Hitman Hollow will promote. Verb, you know what I'm saying? When Verb does his spaces, you see his level of promotion. The people that was in there, the JCs, like a lot of them people do not promote at all. I'm not talking about John John. John John will do like interviews and stuff like that. He will promote. But a lot of them people, they don't promote. You know, so it's like, how y'all asking him for advice on how to get battle rap lit? First of all, instead of sitting in there with Hitman Holler, asking him like all these questions, why don't y'all just look at what he's doing and look at the blueprint? And with him and Verb, do they basically show everybody showing y'all, even easy, and showed y'all before like how to get it lit in battle rap. That's all y'all got to do, just follow the blueprint. You know, don't be afraid to get out there and, and talk. You know what I'm saying? Do a spaces talk. You know what I mean? Go on different platforms. Don't I know y'all be bad at like different media and, and different like all that. You know what I'm saying? Don't want to upset the the league because you know I'm messing with this media person and talking to this media person. You know what I mean? I don't know what y'all be thinking, but a lot of y'all are not getting y'all voices heard. Or y'all might just do a hip hop is real interview and think people going to see it. And then like a month from now, y'all only have like a thousand views like on the video and nobody really cared about it. Your bit coming up. Nobody cares about it. The person you about to battle, nobody cares about. No momentum or nothing. But what Hitman Holler and Verb is doing, you know, if they were to battle. You know, they just shut down the whole, bro. They got everybody going live, reacting to what they saying, going back and forth. It ain't just because it's Hitman and Verb. If, if Verb is going back and forth or having an issue with A-War, everybody is tuned in. If he having an issue with Swamp, everybody is tuned in. You know, you got to have that commanding presence. You know what I mean? And be able to command the audience's attention. And a lot of y'all just wait to get on cards and be quiet. Don't want to... Don't want to promote nothing. We got Jerry. Shout out to Jerry Woods. This ain't no just to him. This dude had a battle with Tay Rock, right? He did do a trailer, but forget all that, man. I would have been everywhere talking about the battle that's coming up with Rock. You know what I'm saying? That's what I would have did. Like a person like Rock don't have to promote at this point. He's already who he is. Everybody in Battle Rock already seen his work. But you about to battle somebody, you got to start talking, you know what I mean? Like the Saflair souls, like people like y'all need to start talking, you know? And like hey, Sean know like when at times to, to market and promote. This dude ain't battled in like two years, K Sean. He still can, whenever he feel like it, get people to talk about him. You know, y'all got to understand some people got the it factor and some people don't. You can sit there all day long talking to Hitman Holler, asking them how battle rap can be lit again and all this you know, and just hope, like, the reason why Battle Rap was so lit back in the day, because you didn't have this aspect of social media, right? You didn't have, like, a crazy number of bloggers, and you know what I'm saying? The events weren't on pay-per-view. You had to be in the building to see what happened, you know? So you didn't really have to promote all like that. You just do, like, one or two interviews, and that was it. And you have, like, people trying to get wind of everything that happened. But now there's so many events you know, with so many different leagues and so many different leagues scamming the public, you know what I mean? Like kind of pushing people away from even wanting to see the sport of battle rap. They'd rather check out a blog than to listen to anything a league got to say now, unless it's one of the big leagues. You know what I mean? They don't care because they've been scammed a lot. A lot of y'all don't be showing up. And then the people that want to say something don't be showing up to battles. You know what I mean? It's like, come on, bro. If you want like <laughs> consumer confidence, Give them that consumer confidence. Go in there, put in the work, give a great performance, have everybody talk about it. You just smoke somebody, and then people going to light up and talk about it. It just is what it is. Like, Easy the Block had to get out here. Easy wasn't, like, always easy, big talking easy. He wasn't always like that. He put in work, started winning. Surf was talking for him most of the time. But he was going in there and winning the battles. 
is what Easy was doing. And people had to respect him. Then, you know, some surf got hot, he started talking more. You know what I mean? It is what it is, you know, but you got to get out there, put in the work, put in the groundwork, make people talk, you know, and sometimes <laughs> it may be bad stuff that make people talk, you know what I'm saying? But you, the goal is to get people to talk, right? Like Big Sean just got everybody talking. He's a rapper, right? Out in Detroit, right? Or Michigan or whatever. He just got everybody talking. He just threw like a couple jabs at, at Kendrick Lamar. He know what he doing. It's super subliminal, but he know what everybody on Twitter talking about it now. People lighting up on, you know what I'm saying? He a rapper, but he understands the game. You know what I mean? Like, yo, promote, like, promote. Do something to promote. You got to get your, your people to open their ears to you so they'll be more receptive to you. Y'all think if I'm just posting a flyer, that's enough. If I'm just posting something on Instagram, that's enough. It's not enough. Not in today's day and age. Y'all got to start going at each other again. You know what I mean? But I will say for the people that did do that, like the ads, going at Verb and, you know, going at certain people, did it pay off? You know, when he was going at Verb and he had like, you know, a million views, like on a, a face off between him and, and Verb, like they had that. They should have booked the battle in, you know, so sometimes they can promote, you know, and then nothing happens. You know what I'm saying? So that's that's the flip side of it, you know, but y'all sitting there talking to him and asking him. Like, what can we do? Y'all look like little workers. Like, get out there and make it happen. Do blogs. Caps be going live every day. Pop up on there talking about somebody. You know, and y'all are co-workers. Talk about them anyway. Talk about them behind their back. You know what I mean? Maybe that'll do something and, and make it work. You know what I mean? And get it lit for y'all. You know, but shout out to Hitman. Shout out to, to Averb Day. You know, we'll see how long this continues. You know, Verb can talk for hours. He can, he can see, he can talk in circles, whatever. He can talk for hours and keep it going. Hitman can talk and keep it going. He kind of interested in what's going on now. He, you know what I'm saying? He going live talking to everybody. He ain't got a problem with it. You know what I mean? He's got a lot of time. I'm sure he got money. He got a lot of time. You know, so I don't know. Y'all tell me what y'all think down in the comment section below. As far as Murder Mook, I see, shout out to Battle Rap Trap, right? I think he changed the name to Trap News Daily. He's got like all the spaces up there. Right, he's got one of the spaces, right? He's got, uh, I'm sorry, one of the videos, he's got Murder Mook, right? Murder Mook went live on IG. He had Gwitty on IG, all the, whatever, right? One of the things that he did say when he mentioned the Averb and, and, and uh, Hitman situation, he was like, no, nah, you still ain't getting out of this battle. I still want to battle you, you know? So Mook is still down the battle. He didn't get super personal, start getting all in the Averbs and, and Hitman Hollis personal business. He's still interested to make this battle happen. And Hitman and Moot got a lot of rich friends. So we'll end up seeing what happens as time goes on. Maybe they can get a sponsor with that. I seen Gwitty was up there. You know what I'm saying? And Gwitty, we not doing that, bro. You not. Bro, Twerk won that battle between Twerk and Murder Moot. We not doing that, bro. Listen to Gwitty when he's saying them. He, listen, he was last joint. You know me. I'm not biased, man. Yeah. I tell him when, I'm, I'm probably the most unbiased. Like he won the last game with Sun two one, right? But it was so crazy that he was trying to act like he didn't win the third round, which was the third um, round of the battle. So school? it'd be like, like uh, you feel what I'm saying? Right he won the second and won the third Yo, bro, play, but and it made it debatable. Like, not not appreciating that first round. That first no, 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 no. It's crazy. It's crazy. It's crazy. crazy. No, 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 listen. No, 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 listen. No, you know what the problem was? It's not that they ain't appreciate it. Oh, right the only Even problem they was track, in that bro. whole battle. Right. It's yeah, not yeah, that they appreciate it. He, uh, he did what he was supposed to do. No, that first round but was one, no. One not, crazy. Yo, 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 listen, Gav. His first round was crazy, but what you're not understanding wanted him to lose so bad. That yeah, that I mean, see Mook lose because Mook is just that nigga, bro. Nah, you know what I mean? I'm not going to say I always want to see Mook lose. I don't want to say that. How can you we... not say that, Gwitty? You, you know were there was for right there. you was there for right. two battles. No, no, you I, was I, there I know. For... We want to see you lose. Gwitty. I'm talking about New York. We don't want to see you lose. Gwitty, you nah, there I'm, for... just, I'm just trying to say, like, in general, because Mook has always been a target because he is the GOAT. You know what I'm saying? 
I, I knew Mo for a long time, and I always fuck with battle rap. No, he's a, no, he'll get on the big platforms and say how he feels. He keeps it real at times. You might have thought Murder Mook won. What did he say in the second round? Y'all talk about, y'all gossip about, mind y'all business. Like, what, I mean, what did he say that was like so crazy and, and groundbreaking? You know, I don't know. Shout out to Mook, but I ain't seen nothing in that round that was like insane. You know what I mean? So, I mean, some people can debate the battle. Some people are going to debate it for Mook. Some people can debate the battle for, for New Jersey Twerk. I think Twerk won the battle. You know what I'm saying? I thought he won the battle when the battle happened. And then, like, the more I watched the battle, the more I even had Twerk winning the battle. You know, even Mook, like, hit me up and was just like, yo, change your recap. I'm not because I think Twerk won. You know, but this is what happens. Like, when they got people in there like that, they don't feel like they should change anything. You know, so that's what I'm saying. But, you know, like, yo, like, witty, bruh. Like, it wasn't that groundbreaking what Mook did. You know what I'm saying? It was all right, but it wasn't that crazy. You know what I'm saying? But shout out to, shout out to Gwitty, man. Hopefully, we'll continue to hear from you soon. It is what it is. As far as URL, right? So, they dropped the battle. They dropped Safler Soul versus Kid Slade. Listen to this, bro. Kid Slade was wowing in his first round. Y'all, you are, what did he say in the first round? He was talking about a, a gun or whatever, and he was just like, he said, uh, I hit you. He said, I, I pull up with the X, Y, and Z on the nine like a house phone. He was wilding on you, Sufflet. Wait a minute. Yo, he was, he said, I pull up with the X, Y, and Z on the nine like a house phone. Bro, look at the house phone. You know what I'm saying? Like, that was fire, bro. The way he writes, I think it, it's, it's a special talent that that dude has. You know, and I don't really, I mean, I think enough time then, then passed about this rocket situation, whatever. You are, y'all may need to look at a different way of remarketing and rebranding this dude. Because he is fire. You know what I'm saying? And Safler Soul did pretty good in the first. You know, like, I think, I, I think he had like kind of a hiccup. You know what I mean? Even uh, Kid Slay had like a slight hiccup in the first. But they, both of their material was very, very good. You know what I'm saying? So shout out to Safler Soul. Shout out to Kid Slay. Hopefully, you all continues to drop battles. I think that was like one of the battles of the, the Gnome 14. You know what I mean? Like after battles or pre-battles or whatever. You know, like the Vixen and Official and all of that. Like they dropped another one, which is the Safler Soul and Kid Slay. Very, very good battle. You know what I'm saying? But y'all tell me what y'all think down in the comment section below. Also, let me know this. Do y'all do y'all think? Hitman and Verb is about to battle again, or do y'all think they about to box? Or y'all think they gonna leave it alone? I heard Byron Blake, he had some stuff to say. You know what I mean about it. You know what I'm saying? Y'all go to his channel and check it out. But he he has some stuff to say about it. He think they about to box or something. You know what I mean? But I don't know. Y'all tell me what y'all think down in the comment section below. I'm about to rate, subscribe. Let me know what y'all think about that. Stay safe. You know what I mean? I will be, like, editing up some blogs that's coming. You know what I'm saying? I'm serious about that. You know, but got to work. You know what I mean? I'm trying to pay this house off. You know what I mean? I already paid cars off and all that. I'm trying to pay this house off. So I got to grind and get that money. You know what I'm saying? Maybe I'll end up doing it on YouTube. You know what I'm saying? But it is what it is. I'm out. Come rate, subscribe. Let me know what y'all think about that. Peace.